if you've watched Governor Newsom and his sort of shutdown orders, reopening orders, and it feels all like very much a game, right? So I was thinking exactly how is this a game? So basically, imagine if you're playing one of those silly games on Facebook. You have a bunch of little creatures wandering around, and you have doors you could shut or you could open. And that's about it. That's all you could do. I mean, we have sillier games than that, right? Like fishing games. Like, you know, there's not even a real-life fish. It's just some artificial whether you catch it. I don't even know. There's at least some skill involved in fishing, or so I've to been told. But you have these little creatures, and they wander around, and all you could do is open and shut the doors. Except every now and then... You know, there's just a massive die-off of the creatures. Not really clear why. And sometimes you shut the doors, but they still want to get through the door. And sometimes they do push their way through the door. And even if you shut the door and their souls blocked at the door, if enough of them gather, they're just going to push that door open and it's going to be useless. So let me translate this for you, because it seems like a really silly game. Well, currently we have this thing called the coronavirus every now and then it kills people, it seems, right? So we know that it does kill people. Who it kills, it seems sort of random sometimes. Young, healthy people die. Older people die. How does this make any sense? Well, we think it's some genetic disposition. We're not really clear why. It's something related to the immune system, which is very, very complicated, and they're doing research. But the idea is that when you shut the door, you're closing businesses. That's sort of all you can do. Enforcing masks, that's a very complicated topic. We're trying to do that. It's not going very well here in California at least, at least the areas where I am. But closing businesses, that's something the government can do relatively well and that's sort of all he does. And it seems random because sometimes it's open, sometimes it's closed. And he is if you close it too long, people are going to rebel and they're just going to go out anyways. So you got to make sure you don't close it too long, otherwise people just push through that closed door. And you got to also know that some people, even though you close a the business, they still don't bother with your closed door sign and just go on in, right? So I think this is all very complicated and the thing is, where is the logic in all of this? I think the idea of logic for me, right, is seeing how many of those creatures are dying from some unknown disease. And that's where the governor comes into play. He has all this research, all this data at his disposal, how many tests were done, what percentage is the positivity rate, this or that, to see whether or not it should be closed or open. And what's the real reason for doing this? The real reason for doing this is to prevent us from going to a wholesale lockdown. If you look at China, they had a wholesale lockdown. If you look at Italy, they had a wholesale lockdown. When the death rate gets to be that high, you just need to have a wholesale lockdown. And when we say lockdown, we don't mean shelter in place. We mean a real full-on lockdown. You don't got a house for any reason whatsoever. Police are checking on you outside. You have a permit. If not, they'll throw you in jail. That's what a full-scale lockdown means. And the idea of doing this sort of open-shut thing, sort of the game we talked about, is to try to prevent that. So there is reason behind his logic. There is a reason why he's doing these things. It seems random, right? So you open for one day and you close again? Well, it's not random. It's because new information came in. It's sort of like if you think about the stock market. If you have new information that the stock market suddenly tanked, so you're just going to sit there and say, okay, I have my game plan. I'm okay for now. No, right? You'll react to it. That's the idea why we have information. We want to react to it. And the thing is, with the little bits here and there, I'm not sure I agree. I think maybe we just should have taken a hint in the beginning of the full-scale lockdown and it won't be much better. But we can't do that just once. They have to do a whole U.S. and that's basically not going to happen. I think it's sort of like the situation with earthquakes in California. We have a little bit shake here and there. Right? Oh, I mean, I've, it's funny because I was traveling to somebody else in Taiwan where they have earthquakes. This person, I guess, hasn't been used to earthquakes. They're like, what was that? I was like, it's an earthquake. Okay. What's the big deal? And she was really scared. And I was like, oh, but, you know, I'm from California. We have these all the time. It's just an earthquake. We love having the little ones, right? So we don't have the big one. Because the idea is that you have all this pressure building up underneath the ground into earth. And if you have a little bit of pressure release here, a little bit of pressure release there, then maybe you'll never get that big one. But if the pressure never gets released, well, then maybe you'll get the big one. Maybe that's the same with the coronavirus. I don't know, but that seems to be what the governor is doing right now. And that's his logic behind the situation.